Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to take a look at a fidget spinner. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, you know, a fidget spinner is okay, whatever. This is one of our, our, our Slack members have sa has said that there's this app inventor tutorial where they made a fidget spinner and he bets that Zim could do that in a shorter amount of code. <laughs> it's kind of like, this seems to be how he does it now. He just, this is great. Uh, there's this tutorial on how to make Angry Birds. Uh, I, I bet you Zim could do that better. <laughs> And then we're a sucker. We go and build it better. Hey, whatever. So we'll do it one more time. I'm not sure how many more times we're going to do this. You know, we've we, we built just so many things now in 30% the code of other, other libraries. So, you know, how many of these things do we need? Are you going to have trust in Zim? Come on. Of course it can do it better. So anyway, we're going to make a fidget spinner. Let's um, let's do that then. We're going to go... Oh, we can start the timer if we want. <laughs> Shall we start the timer? All right, there goes the timer. And we are going to go to the code section here and copy the template. Shut that down. Come into Atom. And up top here, we'll change this more to a mobile look. So 1,000 high and some amount um, 560 wide or something like that. That's roughly... A, an average mobile. We could go to a full mode and properly scale this in here, uh, etc. But we'll just do that for now. Uh, yellow. We'll give it some color because our fidget asset, which is here, const assets is equal to fidget.png. And we put that in a path. Const path is equal to assets. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> kind of a little twisty, isn't it? But there's, uh, there's us bringing in our assets, except we need to pass them in here. Assets and path. That will get them loaded in the frame so that we can here get rid of our circle stuff and say const fidget is equal to, now oh, let's call it a spinner. Spinner is equal to asset and then we will make that a bit bigger for you. Call it fidget.png. And dot center reg on the stage, just so that it uh, an asset has its registration point top left corner. So we will want to center reg that so that it shows up, uh, so that it will spin around its registration point. Okay, well, it's a bit big, so how about we'll drop this down and dot ska that for scaling it, 0.5, although we could use scale 2. And what have we got? Not bad. If we want to press on the sort of the sides and not have to exactly go on the bitmap, then we might want to dot expand that, expand, and that will put a box around it all, make it a bit easier to operate on, and also we'll give it a cur dot cursor. Uh, there, sounds good. Okay, and now it all has a cursor, but it's not a fidget spinner yet, isn't it? Something is missing. Doom, doom, doom. So, const uh, swiper is equal to a new swiper. So this is the Zim swiper. And we can say what we want to swipe on. So that's the swipe on colon. Well, we can just swipe on the spinner. We could swipe on the on the whole stage if we wanted to, but we'll swipe on the spinner. And then what uh, is the target? What um, what are we going to be controlling with the swiper? And that is also the spinner. And what property is that going to be? Property will be the rotation. Oops, a rotation. And there's also a sensitivity that we can set. Sensitivity, roughly, if, you, if it's sensitivity of one, which is a default, it's a one to one. But we might want to spin this a little bit faster looking. So we'll start at five, I guess, like that. There's also a damping that can be set, like so how much will it slow down or damp. But we'll leave that. One important thing, though, is the swipe er type is quote, radial, radial, like that. Otherwise, it will default to horizontal. And uh, you can also set it to vertical, but we want to sort of swipe it in a circle here. So ready? Let's see if it works. Bum, bum, bum. We refresh. 
Hey, we made a fidget spinner. <laughs> Look at that. A fidget spinner in, let's stop that clock. Three minutes and 50 something seconds. Although, can you see that now? I don't, I don't think you can. We'll, we'll start the clock. <laughs> can you see it now? Oh, there we go. Three minutes 55, and we will pause the clock so that you can see it. Less than four minutes. Yay, we've made a, spi a, a fidget spinner there. Um, the tutorial did have some some uh, some controls of that to be able to control how fast that will spin and how much da like how much it'll slow down how much friction there is I guess we could do that we could probably do it in another five minutes I think yeah to get some some controls in there for the fidget the fidget spinner the fidget spinner the fidget spinner but uh, I, I do like that that's kind of fun I do I feel like and as, as well on a touch screen so this is me on a touch screen and I am actually doing it on a touch screen there and that's that's pretty cool so this has been a code in five minutes with a zim and I am Dr. Abstract I hope you have a great day or night perhaps we'll make a second version of this where we add some controls in five minutes oh. Take it easy. Have a have a great day or night. Ciao.